Hello guys, how are you? In this particular video, we will learn the numerical aspects, mathematical aspects of multi-stage amplifier. So, as far as mathematical aspect is concerned, there are three aspects. One is calculation of uh, voltage gain, current gain, input impedance and output impedance. Second is lower cutoff frequency and third is your higher cutoff frequency. In this particular problem, we will deal with the AC analysis with voltage gain, input impedance, output impedance and if current gain is required, if it is calculated, if, the, if it is asked, right? So, let's start with one particular model which has been asked in university examination. <music> This particular question been asked in um, ETRX that is electronics branch for May 2018 Mumbai University. Uh, the question is comprises of two stage both are of BJTs and uh, they ask us calculate the value of AV. AV is nothing but voltage gain. RI is nothing but input impedance. RO is nothing but the output impedance. So uh, fortunately they have not asked for the uh, current gain. So less mathematical work over here as compared to all four calculations. So given value is VBE is equal to 0 0.7 volts and beta 1 beta 2 is equal to 150. Okay. So as here beta 1 and beta 2 is given uh, we have to uh, move further for different aspects of different model of AC equivalent model for uh, your multi-stage amplifier. So uh, nevertheless that is the next step. So we'll first look for what particular steps, right? So when we are calculating the value of AV, we require the value of GM or value of RE or value of R pi. Obviously for that we have to have the value of current IC, current IE and the value of the R pi, R e, G m all right. So that is been done by using DC analysis. So let's start with the DC analysis. So if, if you look at this particular circuit carefully, then we can conclude, we can observe, we can make a statement that here R1, R2 is 30 and 10 K. Here also R1, R2, 30 and 10 K. RC, R e, 1.5 K and 500. Here also RC and RE 1.5K and 500, both are of by, a bypass capacitor type. So can I say that if I do the DC analysis independently, whatever Q parameter I will be getting, that will be same because each and every parameter as far as BJT1 and BJT first stage and second stage is concerned, I will be getting each and every Q parameter will be same. So that will reduce my mathematical work. Once I set for DC analysis of stage one, that same parameter I will carry forward for stage number two for that particular calculation. Okay, let's move for the DC analysis. So let's move for the stage number, step number one. That is nothing but DC analysis. So for DC analysis, we have to consider all the capacitances. Obviously, in your exam as well, write that all the capacitances, coupling capacitance and bypass capacitance keep open. Okay. So all coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor open circuit OC, right? So if it is so, then I can say that first stage number one and stage number two, both are identical. Here you have to mention that as both stages are identical DC parameters are same, right? So we will take only one stage ka DC analysis and we can conclude that that will be applicable for the stage number two as well. Okay. So let's start with the first stage. Let's see if I open all the capacitances then I will be getting this kind of circuitry. Input has nothing to do with the circuitry. So I'm not connecting my AC input over here. Rather I'm connecting the DC reference input. This is of 500 ohm. This is of 1.5 kilo ohm. This is of 30 kilo ohm. This is of 10 kilo ohm. And uh, this source voltage is VCC is equal to 15 volts. And here connected to ground. It's a simple 
DC analysis will have to carry out. So pause your screen, complete your DC analysis, calculate the value of IC, right? Don't calculate the value of VCA that is not required as far as the question is concerned. We just require the value of IC and IE for the calculation of RPI and RE. So calculate the value of IC, pause your screen and come to me within few minutes. So here we will be getting the value of RTH as 7.5 kilo ohm, VTH is equal to 3.75 volts and that forms your 7 inch equivalent circuit once we apply the input KVL we will be getting the value of IB. So if we apply the input KVL. We will be getting. V E H minus V B E divided by R B that is R T H only. We'll write it as R E H plus one plus beta times R E, which is equal to current I B. Okay, so that current I B I will be getting. So what is the value of current I B? 36.74 micro ampere so we have got the value 36.74 micro ampere that is nothing but the value of ib and that is nothing but the ibq so as i know that icq is equal to beta times ibq for both stages beta 1 and beta 2 is equal to 150 so i can say that that is nothing but the value of beta we will take the value of beta as 150 150 multiplied by ibq that is nothing but 36.74 micro ampere that gives me the value you will be getting 5.545 milliampere that is nothing but the value of icq right so this is one of the parameter q parameter that we will be getting so we have got the first q parameter that is icq is equal to 5.545 milliampere q parameter is not the question of uh, this particular uh, numerical so for this particular problem we want the value which is required for the ac parameter right so for ac parameter we want what value of r pi and value of gm that's it so value of gm is nothing but gm is equal to 1 upon re right and that re is equal to vt divided by the value of i e i'm considering the fact that the beta is very very high right so we will say that as beta is very high i e is nearly equal to i c so we are not going to calculate the value of i e obviously we can calculate the value of i e but that will be come out to be uh, 5.5456 as it is right so not much difference we will be getting in between i c q and i e q so we will not uh, calculate the value we will not waste our time and directly we will jump for the next part that is nothing but the calculation of gm rather calculation of r e first so re is equal to vt is nothing but 26 millivolts divided by ie is equal to 5.545 milliampere so ultimately we will be getting 26 divided by what is the value of re re is nothing but 4.69 ohm value of re is 4.69 ohm and that inverse will become your value of gm gm is equal to re inverse you will be getting the value of gm which is one of the important parameter for ac analysis this come out to be 0 0.213 mo that is 213 millimo right so okay as far as gm is concerned so far we have discussed about the ac parameters one more parameter which is required that is called as r pi right 
So R pi is nothing but the value beta into R e, right? R pi is equal to beta into R e. We know the value of beta. Beta is nothing but 150. R e is nothing but 4.69 ohm. So we will be getting the value 703.5. That is nothing but the value of R pi. So your R pi 1 and R pi 2, I can say that conclusion from DC analysis will become overall R pi 1 is equal to R pi 2 is equal to 703.5 ohm and gm1 is equal to gm2 is equal to the value which is 0 0.213 mo okay so about this gm and r pi these are required parameter for your ac analysis so we have completed step number one of dc analysis and now we will move further for the step number two for AC analysis. So step number two is of AC analysis. As far as AC analysis is concerned, we have to say that we will do the short circuit, short circuit all coupling and bypass capacitors and short circuit all DC voltage source. So even, even though you know this particular fact, you have to write in your examination while doing while doing for the numerical with AC analysis. Okay. So before drawing AC equivalent model, you have to make the statement of short circuit all coupling capacitors and bypass capacitors and short circuit all DC sources. Okay. So drawing AC equivalent model There is no source resistance, so picture will be very very simple. I can say that this will be your RB1. This is your R pi 1. This is your GM1 V pi 1. Okay, connected to source which is bypassed. Then your resistance that is RC1, which is in parallel with R B two same as R B one stages are having same values. This will be your R pi two. Similarly, we'll be getting G M two into V pi two. Complete thing is complete segment is connected to ground. Then we'll connect this to your R C two connected to ground and here we will say that its output voltage this is vo1 and here we will say this is vi okay so far so well it's a nice ac equivalent model which we which we are we have got already and we'll just write the value of the formulas of voltage gain input impedance and output impedance so first of all we will calculate what will be the, your input impedance so your input impedance is nothing but r b1 in parallel with r pi 1 okay so calculate that value of input impedance so first parameter is input impedance will calculate the value of input impedance we will say that what is input impedance input impedance is nothing but r b1 in parallel with r pi 1 so i can say that r i is nothing but what is r b1 r b1 is 7.5 kilo ohm in parallel with r pi 1 which is nothing but 703.5 ohm okay so calculate this particular value whatever value you will be getting that will be your input impedance right so 643 ohm, 643 ohm, that will be your value of input resistance, okay. As far as output resistance is concerned, we'll again turn to the output side. We are getting only one output resistance over here. No load resistance is there in the picture of numerical. So we can say that output resistance RO is nothing but RC2. Now very simple thing, we can say, B part is your output resistance. Output resistance is your 
RO, which is equal to RC2, which is equal to 1.5 kilo ohm, is given in your numerical. Now, more crucial part is to calculate the value of VO divided by VI, that is nothing but your voltage gain. So, we will carry out this particular voltage gain by particular formula. So, C part is your voltage gain. Only one part is left now. So, voltage gain is let us say AV divided into AV1 and AV2. AV1, AV2, let us say, AV2 is nothing but GM2 multiplied by RC2 with negative sign. So, we can say that AV2 is equal to minus GM2 multiplied by RC2. And we all know that what is the value of GM2 we have got? That is nothing but 0.213 multiplied by RC2. So, 0.213 multiplied by obviously with negative sign and RC2 is nothing but 1.5 kilo ohm, right. So, calculate this particular value, you will be getting the value of AV2. So far, we have got the value of AV2 that is uh, minus 319.5. So, negative sign again indicates that it is a phase shift of 180 degree. Now, we have to move further for the first stage. Now, in the first stage, we will be getting the value of AV1 is equal to minus GM1 into all the parallel resistances. Here, we are getting in the AC equivalent model that is RC1, RB2 and RPI2. All these three are in parallel. So, we can say this is nothing but RC1 in parallel with RB2 in parallel with R pi 2. As far as R B 2 and R pi 2 parallel combination is concerned, that is same as the input impedance that is 643 ohm. And this 643 is in parallel with 1.5 K that comes out to be 450 ohm. Calculate it and then we will get to know that. GM is nothing but 0 0.213 that is common to both value both stages and here we will be getting 450. Okay. So, 450 multiplied by 0 0.213 that comes out to be 95.86. So, your value of AV1 is 95.86, let us say equation number 2. AV2 is equation number 1 which is come out to be uh, 319.5 and ultimate value of AV is equal to AV1 multiplied by AV2 which is equal to minus 319.8 uh, 319.5 and minus 95.86 just multiply these two values you will be getting ultimate gain for multi stage amplifier this is the value of gain of multi stage amplifier which is very very high amount of gain so basically we have got the result answers of all these calculations as far as numerical is concerned we have got first value that is ri as 643 ohm then we reach to the value of output resistance as the value of rc that is 1.5 kilo ohm we reach to the value of voltage gain overall voltage gain that comes out to be 3627 so voltage gain has no units so this is your frame of answer and this is how we have completed the problem number one based on CECE VJT multi-stage amplifier with, the, with only the voltage gain, input impedance and output impedance. Thank you so much for watching this particular video. Learn more and more EDC2 with me with Ikeda videos. Subscribe your Ikeda videos. Thank you so much.